Hey guys, my man here, back in another video. Today is a movie review on, uh, part one of a movie review on, uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, I just got back from seeing that today. Today's being Tuesday, the, uh, July 2nd, the first day it came out. Um, it's all in the normal digital cinema. Um, and... It was pretty good. Um, this, like I said, this is going to be a two-parter. This first part is going to be the non-spoiler. Um, um, but, uh, oh yeah. Overall, uh, overall thoughts, I thought it was really good. Um, um, I'm, to me, to me though, the first three, the first, uh, the Raimi trilogy is always going to be number one. For, because I feel like that's the only one that got it truly 100%. But, like, the other, uh, like, the Garfields and the, you know, the Holland ones, they have glimpses. Like, I think when it comes to Garfield, I've already talked about this a bunch of times before, but, uh, uh how it relates into the movie. Uh, this will relate to that, um, when I think of the movie. But, uh, I think the second one. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was a step in the right direction, and then they rebooted to Holland. And I feel like this one, Far From Home, is a step in the right direction for Tom Holland's version of Peter Parker. Um, he hasn't been, t like, terrible and watchable. Like, my, my least favorite Spider-Man movie is still The Amazing Spider-Man, but... So I like this. One. I did like it. I enjoyed it a lot. There was a lot of good points, parts in it. There's stuff in it that still bugs me. Him being much younger, so you know, because of that, Aunt May is much younger. I don't. It's still weird that you know she's actually you know who's Tome, who's you know not. She's she's attractive, and it's kind of awkward. <laughs> uh, I don't like him being that much younger. I just don't. I'm not a big fan of that. I like. I wanted to see him grow, get bigger, get out of high school. Older Spidey, you know, about the time when he can have Mayday Parker, like that sort of thing. But you know, become a science teacher, um, like he actually was in Civil War, um, but in the comics. But you know, this is a step in the right direction. I liked his chemistry with uh, Zadea. I think they did a really good job. Jake Gyllenhaal was excellent. I knew he was he he's a great actor, so I knew he would kill Mysterio. Um, I th I honestly think he would have pay played a decent Spider-Man had they casted him in the role. But uh, anyway, it's a, it, it, you know he's Mysterio. He looked like Mike Mysterio. Like the this visually he the, he looked amazing. Everything about Mysterio was great. Um, of course, Sam ja seeing Sam Jackson as. Um, Fury was always it's always good. Good seeing Maria Hill, uh, Kobe Smallers, always good. Um, just you know, happy seeing happy. Anybody, John, John Favreau, anybody from the Iron Man team is always good because Iron Man's still my favorite from the MCU. Uh, always Willie, and you know I'm I still have my issues with Endgame, so I'm you know. Stuff so I, I had to see this one because it is the epilogue. The set then you know it kind of shows a little bit of the future of uh, the MCU. It's gonna be a little bit before we get another movie that tie, that actually is into it, but it does set up some stuff. Um, the after credit scenes are crazy. Stick for stick around for those. Um, the soundtrack was good. Plot was good. Um, it was neat seeing them in another country. You know that's. Um, I'm trying not to spoil anything, you know. They do, the trailers do a really good job of, uh, my misdirection. There's a lot of misdirection from the trailers, which is good. They give you a lot of stuff, you know, the hijacking, you know, him going on vacation and then it being hijacked from, you know, him having to deal with, uh, you know, uh, Hydro Man and, uh, and, uh, Molt Man and, all that stuff, and, you know, the appearance of Mysterio, and all that stuff, you know, that part's, you know, right, that's, that, that's pretty spot on there, but, you know, I ain't gonna give you any more turns of that, it's good, it's funny, there's a lot of laughs, there's some good heartfelt moments, there's, 
you know, it's good. It's good. It's a good uh, entry into the. Uh, it's a good way to end. I mean, it's an epilogue. It feels like an epilogue um, to the uh, Infinity Saga. I think is what they're calling it. But uh, honestly, like I said, I think Tom Holland's getting better. He's still not my favorite Spider-Man, but. He's getting he's getting good. I I never I never was a I was never like so upset with him that I couldn't watch the movies he he played the character. But it's a step in the right direction. I like the new suits. I like I guess it's it's good. In you know, overall, I think it's a good movie. You'll enjoy it. Um if you're a fan of Tom Holland's Spider-Man and you're a fan of the MCU, you definitely got to check it out. Um if you're a fan of Jake Gyllenhaal, you got to check it out. Any of those guys just just it'll be good. It'll be good. Uh, uh, you, I'm sure you'll like it, and I definitely recommend it if you're a Tom Holland Spider-Man fan, Spider-Man fan, MCU fan, Hugo fan, uh, or Spider-Man fan in, uh, in general. Anyway, this is my quick non-spoiler review of uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. I hope you like it. Hope not helpful. If you did, please hit hit the like button, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Definitely appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter at Ryan Oscar Maiden. Follow me on Instagram at Maiden Period Ryan. As always, my Facebook profile is going to be in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Spoilers in three, two, one. So.